brain maker. Women who swallow your ego know exactly how your bullshit tastes. Already. Already. Know where the fuck in you starts. And I've left my heart in the corner of my mother's womb and I've been pretending to have feelings ever since. Strapped imaginary time bombs around a chest plate, toying with the combination, wondering if my explosion will be noticed like the difference in temperature when your skin is used to being 30 degrees. Been searching for enlightenment through poetry as if these words were never tainted like heaven had stages with judges that handed out nothing but tens because if you made it this far, you deserve nothing. Been doing push-ups against the ground because in my world the sky feels like it's falling, y'all. Yeah. Realizing I've been absolute since Negroes were picking cotton. Beyond what you call mad. Insane to the touch of women who felt like their insides were prayers and could save me. But sweetheart, you can't cook whole meals when you're half rested. Burnt frankincense and myrrh every morning just to remember what sweetness smells like. Very broken hearts in my mind. I've got graveyards in my sight, skeletons in my eyeballs, Jack Daniels in my strides, and the pieces in my spit. Grew up in a two parent household but still felt like a bastard's baby. Demons addicted to blood oranges follow me around, asking me questions as if they're poor. It's got the answers for the different stages. Mislabel me a poet. I keep telling them I'm a writer, so I hit stages to prove it. Obsessed with lighter fluid, because my memories keep asking me to burn them. Been walking like a heathen ever since I caught the pastor with Miss Henry's daughter. Felt like the church was an open target for suicide bombers, so I've been on my journey for the truth. In between the hungover and the helpless, between the depressed and the heroin addicts, between the trigger and the death certificate, between sex and the delivery room, I sit next to the homeless sometimes just to get a whiff of what reality smells like. Walk sure-footed over concrete because steps are the only thing that is for certain. My only goal is to move forward like bullets, cock back my soul and step out with the hammer on pause like pause. Do you really think you want to fuck with me when my appetite for destruction claim numbers like Katrina? Thought we were cousins with the amount of heartstrings we left in our wake. Wait until a woman looks you in your eyes and tells you she'd rather slit her wrists than to love you. Oh. And have her call you and tell you goodbye. Knowing you were too far away to do anything about it, listening to life be drained through fiber optics. So I spent a year setting souls on fire just to see their react when I said, I'm sorry, oh. but I can't love you. Been trying to glue what's left of me back with some semblance of emotional cement. Mama, you keep thinking I'm going to find Jesus. Convinced my life is destined for greatness due to the fact that I almost exited life when I entered with underdeveloped lungs. I've been fighting for what you call normal since birth. Been keeping a track of these moments with scars and verse. Wake up to the smell of my own cyanide in my nostrils. Been nostalgic for the future ever since I was seven. Trying to keep track of all these swing happy blades in my mouth. Hoping that one day I'll find the courage to say, Dear Mama, I really need my heart. Aww.